What's up YouTube? This is my review of the Hoover Nano Cyclonic or Cyclonic Upright Bagless Vacuum. It's a random review. I haven't seen not one review of this in particular vacuum on YouTube. So I decided to give it a try and give it a review just to do a little review of a vacuum I just picked up from Walmart. Okay. It's used for all floors. I think it has a 12 amp motor in it. I have not read the booklet yet because the vacuum is relatively easy to put together and re relatively easy to use and everything like that. It has the cyclone technology built inside of it where you know it swirls all the dust inside the uh, machine and, and, and lowers it and lays it down at the bottom of the vacuum in the inner tube. Now I have hardwood floor, not hardwood floor, but hard tiled floor. I don't have no carpet in my house except for my rugs. I have two rugs in my house. Other than that, everything else is uh, hard floor. So, you know, I need a vacuum that's uh, relatively low to the ground that can get that dust and stuff up off the ground without, you know, being too high up to where it's not really doing a good job. And for the last past two years, I've been using this vacuum that I got from uh, Big Lots. It's a Dirt Devil. You know, Dirt Devils are pretty good. But, you know, it's a, uh, I'm going to show you that right now. I mean, it's a it's a it's a uh, low to the ground vacuum. It's an okay vacuum, um, bagless vacuum. But at the same time, um, these vacuums, I mean, they they do its job, but it doesn't. You know, it's not the motor isn't that strong. It loses suction relatively quick. You know, even if even though you can clean the um, filter and all that and change out the filter like uh, other vacuums uh, these days, but. Um, I mean, there's a couple of things I didn't really like about it and that I started, you know, noticing about it. It's a, it's a $25, $20 vacuum, so, you know, it lasts me a little while, but it wasn't doing that good of a job to me. And the things, I'm going to show you the features of it. Now, how do you empty out the dirt inside this vacuum? You pull this lever right there, take that off, and then you have that. You got to take that filter from the top and then empty it. Empty it. And by doing that, I mean, you put all the dust in the air just by pulling the filter out, and then it's all up on your hands and stuff, and then when you empty it, you know, all the stuff flying to the air, and you got to put the filter back in, and, and the dust is all right here, right up on you. Motor is right there, whatever. And then, another thing, in order to use this little extension right here, you have to pull off that bottom part with your hand, and that's kind of nasty, and you got to put that the extension at the bottom of that, and I mean, this been on all kind of floor and dirt and dust and stuff. You don't want to be putting your hands down there and touching all that nasty dirt. So, you know, I said it's time for an upgrade. And this vacuum ran me about 60 bucks. It was uh, 56 99 or something like that at Walmart. Just picked up about three days ago. And I'm, I'm, I'm um, satisfied about what I got. Um... When you're picking up vacuums, it's kind of hard to figure out what to get. I know you be seeing those Dyson vacuums and Kirby vacuums, and you kind of intimidate you. You're like, wow, man, if I don't get one of those type of vacuums, then every other vacuum is shit. That's not relatively true. Um, Dyson's and Kirby's, I used to sell Kirby's, but uh, Dyson's you know, and Kirby's, those are for, you know, if you want super deep, extreme cleaning. You know, it's not for your, your average house. You know, you're not going to need one of those super extreme uh, vacuums for, you know, for your average house for example if you go go-kart racing you're not going to need a ferrari engine inside your uh, go-kart just to race around a go-kart track you know you're just there just to drive your go-kart not to be in a nascar race so a vacuum like this a 60 dollar vacuum or a 70 dollar vacuum would do the job and i like the little cyclonic technology you know i've been hearing about this it's old relatively old and not new or anything but i like the way it works and i didn't read the instructions on how to operate this vacuum how to use its features i mean it's easy and a kid can use this because it's just everything stands out for example you can tell where you need to press to take the uh container off itself you press right there at the top this button at the top pull right off and you got yourself right here and then you press that button right there to open that up i got a little bit of dust inside there but i'm gonna press it anyways oh i ain't no dust inside there but uh just press that empty that empty out real easily shake it like that a little bit you know you close it right back up and then at the top you see this lock and unlock turn it unlock that there's your filter and you can clean this filter with water it shows it on the box and everything there it is you can run it through water or whatever when it gets used up okay and then you just lock it right back on i figured out all this without even looking at any instructions it's right all you do is look at the vacuum it's so simple 
lock it back in place. And then you put that right, tidy right back on there like that. Push it in place. That simple. Um, I like the way they did the little hose because this also has a hose too, which also doubles as the handle itself. So how that works, you know, you press this lever down right here and there's your hose. This is on there. You can't take this off. It's just automatically on there. And you take your, turn the vacuum around like that. Sorry, my view anger on my uh, camera isn't all that wide, so I got to, you know. And there's a lever right there. Press that down. Pull up the cord is kind of blocking it, so it's like, I can't get my hand inside there. But you press that down. Damn it. Press that down. And you pull that up. The cord wraps up right there too, so you might want to unwrap the cord first. So, you know, if you got big fingers, you can't put your hand around the hose to pull it up. But there's a lever right there. And you snap that on the back of this. And the hose is very strong. Like, you know, it's, it's very strong. And it also comes with a brush on the side right here. Slide that up on there like that. And then you have your brush. Works good for couches curtains, blinds, ceiling fans, some rugs, you know, even your computer keys or something like that. Simple as that. Take that off, put that back on this side. Unhook that by pulling that like that. And this is still brand new, so that's why it's like kind of hard to slide off when I'm trying to slide it off and stuff. Because, you know, it's going to get worked in. And then this, just follow the notch. It has a little notch right there. Slide it in the notch just like that. It snaps right in. Doubles as a vacuum handle. Pretty real, pretty cool. Now, also, they have the feature where, where you can um, put your feet on this right here to disable or to enable and disable the, uh, the brush. The reason for that is if you got sensitive floors like wood floors and you don't want to mess up your you know your gloss or mess up your uh, scratch up your wood floors you press that and have suction only until you get to your carpet then you turn the brush back on this right here it has a foot symbol that's how you put your foot on that and then you just lean back like that at first I thought this was to make it lean back like uh, older vacuums or some you know vacuums we still use today but you actually put your foot right there and you just lean it back and then just lean it up when you're ready to go and then when you're uh, picking it up, don't be afraid to pick it up. It have actually like a springy feel to it when you're picking it up like that. So you won't, you know, mess up anything. Power button right there, of course. And that pretty much concludes the review of this vacuum. Hose is very stretchy. It can stretch about like five or six feet, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. And this vacuum is pretty strong. I mean, it has some pretty good suction. I think it's a 12 amp. Um, not really sure, but I'm thinking that it is because, you know, when I was vacuuming my carpet, man, oh my God. Let me show y'all something, man. Like, this damn thing was filled up to there, and I'm afraid to admit that. That's like two inches. That is, that was, I was like, ding. This from vacuuming this carpet in my room and the carpet in the living room. Just the rugs, just the rugs alone. Because, you know, rugs can hold ten times its own weight. And, man, or five times its own weight, something like that. And, uh, man, it was crazy. I was like, dang. Like, that vacuum wasn't getting up nothing compared to what this is getting up. So, you know, and as you can see, I got a filter right there. I like to keep my house, like, dust-free. And I got a filter in the living room living room also but like man like it was a gang of dust so like it was a sucking it straight up you can hear everything going through the vacuum a little tornado just sucking up everything and dropping it down at the bottom so good vacuum 60 bucks is it worth 60 bucks um i give it an a plus in my book yes it's worth 60 bucks you know i've seen other vacuums up there that was 85 95 175 and stuff like that but for a 60 dollar vacuum hoover you know it's a name brand Good working vacuum, suction very good, and you can clean the filter. Not to worry about buying filters and stuff like that. Easy to get to the filter without touching all that dust and easy to empty out your dust without touching anything. I give it an A+.
I'm out. Peace.